This is unfazed, a 60 by 10 foot wide beam built by Northwich Boat Builders in 2012. She's in lovely condition. She's only six years old and she's actually provided a, an off grid home to the current owners for the last four years. She's completely self sufficient. The current owner is an engineer, both mechanical and electrical, so it's very well kitted out for living aboard. She hasn't even been hooked up for four years. 450 watts of solar panels there on the roof. The cratch covers in immaculate condition, sorry, the pram hood is in immaculate condition. Large stern deck, eight feet long. The engine room is huge, that houses a canal line 52 horsepower and it's also got cleverly arranged storage shelves. It's a bit like a, a shed, there's so much room in there. Very social area this, the lens is very dirty I'm afraid. Gas lockers either side, they double up as seats. Bit of a wintry day here, some very low winter sun. There we go. View from the helmsman's position. And into the boat. The access here is super easy. The hatch is three feet. And as you go down, these banisters very easily pull out for loading or unloading large bits of furniture or appliances. It's quite clever. Down we go. She's fitted out in oak face ply with solid oak trim. The floor is solid oak. And a really homely living space. This table's rather clever. I've left it up. The owner made this. The idea is that if you're eating at the sofa you can hinge the top over your knees and it's a bit more comfortable. Television there is a 32 inch television. There's wiring on board for satellite. Solid fuel stove. There is also central heating on board, a Webasto diesel fired system to four radiators and a towel rail. But it's sub zero outside and very toasty in here just with that fire. Acres of storage on this boat, you'll see as we go through. There's the stereo, large cupboard underneath. And there's the inverter, that's a two and a half kilowatt Sterling Pro Combi inverter charger. The saloon itself is 15 feet long. Head height on the boat is six foot ten. And a nice breakfast bar here with two hydraulic stools. And into the galley, six feet long, plenty of storage, a bank of four drawers here. Lots of space underneath. Worktops in here are black marble effect laminate. There's a microwave in the corner there, 800 watt. And here's one of the lovely carousel storage cupboards. All the lighting on board is LED. This extractor fan and light is 12 volt. And a squeaky clean cooker for gas burners, oven and grill, that's a hot point. Very clever undergunnel use here. There were pots and pans hanging on those hooks and spice racks there. And hidden under the breakfast bar there's the 12 volt freezer and the fridge next to it. The freezer is an inlander and the fridge is a shoreline. Lovely room. There's a side hatch just here on the starboard side as well with a glazed insert. Down the corridor, really wide this corridor, feels very roomy. And the spare bedroom is here, there's a sliding door, two bunks, lots of storage under the bottom bunk. And this could double up as an office as well, which is what the current owners use it for. There's a desk in the corner here. USB points, power points, LED lights over. That could be a bedroom for the children, an office, playroom, 
whatever you like really. It's a large wardrobe by the door here. The room forward of the, uh, the boat rather, forward of the galley is carpeted. The bathroom is next to the spare bedroom here, another sliding door. Good space savers those are. And a very luxurious bathroom. Lovely quadrant shower. Tiled floor, the loo is a Thetford cassette. Two spare cassettes on boards, an extractor fan and light in the roof there. Basin ceramic. It's all very nice woodwork on this boat. There's the heated towel rail I mentioned. It's all solid. Northwich do a nice job. And under here is the hot point washer dryer. space here for hanging towels and things. The bathroom was 5 feet 11 and on into the main bedroom. 10 feet 2 inches long. Huge bed. That's a king size. And storage everywhere in this room. Cupboards over. Lockers neck to the bed. Wardrobes. Storage under the bed, I'll show you here. Down on my knees again for you. You can also access that, of course, from the top of the bed if you move the mattress. Another television on the wall there. That's a 19 inch TV DVD. Storage under those steps and a wardrobe next to those. As we go out onto the well deck, I'm going to start explaining. The current owner kept a motorbike on board in the well deck and he fashioned a crane. It's actually a half ton crane. There's a photograph of it in operation in the brochure. There's a pokey bow thruster on board, 95 kgf, they're the batteries. And the crane bits are stored there, very neatly concealed. And you can do it either side of the boat with these tubes. As I say, photographs of the bike being lifted in the brochure. But it could be useful for mobility scooters or anything, other, anything else heavy, really. So we'll have another walk back through the boat. She was last blacked in March 2018, so that doesn't need doing. She's been regularly serviced by the owner, last done this summer, 2018. The water tank is stainless steel, 700 litres. There is also the hot water, there's also an immersion heater fitted. So hot water comes from the engine, the Wabasto or the immersion heater. The batteries, by the way, there are five domestics, 160 amp hour. They were all new in 2017. The bow thruster batteries are 200 amp hours. And there's one starter. Fabulous boat, she'll make a lovely home as she has done for the last four years to the current occupiers. Last view from the rear steps and out we go. So that's unfazed for further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure. And the price, go to our website, www.rugbyboat.co.uk.